Hello, I'm Ross with Flight Prep. Today I'd like to introduce you to and show you some of the key features of iChart version 2.0 for your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. iChart version 2 introduces seamless as well as geo-referenced charts. When looking at the charts, we've got geo-referenced ch sectional charts, tax, low and high in routes, as well as access to chart legends all through the chart selector here in the upper right hand corner. We also introduced geo-referenced approach plates in iChart version 2. Geo-referenced approach plates are all viewable through the airport for that approach. Here in version 2 we also introduce AirPrint for approach plates. We also have geo-referenced airport diagrams that depict your airplane position or GPS position here on the airport diagram. You also notice that below any of these plates you also see this data readout down here along the bottom. That data readout is also given to you when you're viewing sectional charts in routes or tacks. To quickly view airport information on iChart version 2, you simply need to scroll to the airport that you'd like to select, touch the airport, there's your approaches list, as well as access to diagrams, frequencies, and additional airport information. Here on the airports page, you're also able to actually look up different airports based on your nearby position, your favorites list, your recent history, or by simply touching here in the text box and typing in an airport identifier and clicking search. One of the other neat things about iChart version 2 is the quick and easy downloads that we've got built into the application. When you first start iChart version 2, the application will ask you your home airport or an airport of your choosing. It does this because it's going to go out and download the airport diagrams, all of the base airport data, as well as the sectional associated with the airport name that you give it. While it's doing that, the application will actually introduce you to a lot of its key features by showing you the in-app help. The help screens are all scalable, zoomable, and you can switch between them either by flicking your finger across the screen or by selecting the arrows in the bottom right or left hand corner. Once all of that data has been downloaded into iChart version 2, you can then go right off and see your position on a chart. If you don't see your current position on the chart by using either the internal GPS on an iPad or iPhone or an external GPS on the iPad or the iPhone, simply reach up and click the track GPS button. Clicking it once will track your current location. So if I'm panned or scrolled away from my location and I click on it, there I am just to the east of Aurora State Airport here in Oregon. If I want to change chart types and go over to say a sectional, reach up to chart selector, change it over to a sectional, and there I am depicted on the sectional chart just south of Portland, Oregon. To quickly select an approach plate, I can do all of that with just two clicks. So say I want to look at the GPS approach into Portland Troutdale, I touch Troutdale, I touched the GPS approach and I did all of that just by two clicks there on the iPad. That will really minimize the amount of heads down time you have when transitioning between the charts and the plates. Same thing goes for transitioning from the approach plate over to the airport diagram. One click, two clicks, and now we can also view our GPS position here on the airport diagram. 
a key feature that's part of a full 30-day demo for iChart version 2 is the fact that we allow you to download all of the data that also allows you to do georeferencing and using the data all offline. So you can go out, download all five gigabytes worth of data if you like, and take a test flight or test flights with iChart version 2. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions regarding iChart or any other flight prep products, please give us a call at 503-678-4360. See us online at www.flightprep.com. Or you can also email us at sales at flightprep.com. Thank you.